Her favorite sport is dancing. I don't know if that's, is that a sport? My favorite sport is dance. And yes, it's a sport. It's an art. It's an art. Seth's favorite is Filipino food. My favorite meal would probably have to be apple chicken. His favorite color is green. I'm gonna say mint. My favorite movie, <clears throat> probably just go with it. Oh, Dear John, that's what it is, Dear John. My favorite color is pink and yellow, but I love to wear blue. Pink and yellow, um, but probably today it was blue. My favorite thing about Liz is her excitement and her happiness in her life and how it actually makes me happy. Seth always makes me feel like I am literally a princess. He always treats me with so much respect. How I knew she was the one was the first time I met her, uh, seeing her opening the door. Um, I saw how beautiful she was and something hit me when I saw her. I knew Seth was the one because he is such a humble person and for many of those of you that know Seth, he has many talents and he never brags about himself and I, I've known since I was really little I've always wanted someone that was very humble about everything that he had or could do. So how I proposed was um, I got the ring. I didn't even know Seth had the ring. It was so hard not to tell her. When I got off of work, he said, hey, let's go downtown and watch the Joseph Smith movie. And I took her up to the Joseph Smith Memorial Building and no one was there and it was overlooking the Salt Lake Temple. And We started talking a little bit and I was looking out the window and watching people get married and I kept turning to him and I said, look how pretty they are. I remember her face just lit up and as she was looking at the different weddings. And it made me way happy and way excited at the same time because I knew I was going to marry her. He went down on one knee and said, Elizabeth, will you marry me? And of course I said yes. And that was the happiest day of my life. My life with Liz 50 years from now, um, I see ourselves having four kids. Um, all those four kids either serving missions or getting married, um, starting a family like we are now. Um, I see us being really happy, very family oriented, and very strong in the gospel. An eternal marriage means to me being still to your partner for a time and all eternity. And even though everyone has their disagreements, but even through all of that, that we can always work it out and become one and just help each other through life's trials and always make each other happy and having a family together and also teaching our children the importance in life and also the gospel. I love her a lot and I'm really excited to, to grow with her and to start a family and gain that experience. Mm -hmm.